Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the questions that were asked in KPMG. And before we get started, let us thank our subscriber who have shared us this question and his experience on the interview. Okay, so let us get started. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So <clears throat> the interview was scheduled, and you know the skills that were expected were Tableau desktop. That is one thing that is for sure. SQL knowledge. Tableau exposure and some detailed concepts if you are aware that would have been you know, better or added advantage to me. So the interview started and this was for level one, just to tell you. Uh, it all started with the first question, like I always tell you. Tell me about yourself. This is something that is very mandatory for everyone to prepare. And you know, as we are getting some time now, and because you know we have some little less less calls in the market, maybe it is time uh, for us to focus more on how. You know, we can optimize uh, this question. Tell me about yourself. You know, what all we can prioritize here. You know, we need to showcase, you know, what all, you know, what all we have achieved or what all we have done in the project to kind of uh, projects we have handled like that. Okay, so that would give a gist to the interviewer that, you know, how good you are. Uh, with the experience and then you know how you have used a tableau or how you have leveraged a tableau uh, what were uh, how you have handled the complex tasks so all that you can improve in your tell me about yourself and try to be a little more uh, better than you know how we have answers for now next is explain your project this is something that i ask in every video to prepare you know like you know how or what you have done what kind of uh, you know kind of uh, issues have you solved? You know, how did you choose or finalize your dashboard design? You know, what methods you followed or what kind of KPIs or functions, functionalities, functionalities you have implemented in your project. That is something that we should be aware of and that is something that we need to talk in the interview next it was the question related to sql like maybe you know the uh, here the uh the candidate was not clear on the that reason so i got a vague question again maybe this question was related to sql like maybe how good you are in sql or what kind of work you have done in sql that were the question that were asked in sql here Okay, next was, you know, the interviewer gave some queries and asked the expected output. So this is like reverse order here, you know, right? Giving a question and uh, writing uh, or asking to write the SQL is one way. Second way is, you know, giving the SQL and asking to expect the answer. Okay, like I say, I'll give simple select, you know, I mean, of order date comma category from sample superstore now what will you give the answer here whether will you tell that you know it's an error or will you will you tell that you know it will give main order date so it, it depends on what our thought process is or what kind of answer we are expecting from the question so brace up yourself you know and be prepared for this type of questions in interview okay next is two questions on sql what is group by and having i think we all are aware of group by and having and mostly when do we use having and when do we use group by do prepare for this, this is a very basic question. I think I've already covered in many of my previous videos. You can go and watch it. And uh, next is what is the backend you are using for Tableau? So mostly when you say backend, what is the data source you are using? So what is the data source type? Is it SQL Server or Snowflake or Teradata or Redshift? The kind of data source you are using, you need to talk about that. Okay. Next is what is role level security? So role level security, how in general or in most common cases, we implement role level security to our dashboard so that whoever is log logging in, only those 
what is the data that is related to him, only that data should be shown. That can be achieved using row level security. I think there are four ways that we already know. We can use tabular approach or we can use, we can create a user filter from the server option. Okay, or we can use username or, you know, a member of function and we can do that. So what is that you have used in your project? We need to talk about that. Okay. Same like how he has used or how he has asked the output of SQL, same way what is the output of uh, some functions in Tableau that was also asked. So here the interviewer is coming in a reverse order to check if you know the functionality of Tableau or are you really able to understand the data flow? Are you really able to understand what would be the output of the given function? That is why this is the real, uh, you know, the different different type of questions. Okay. So this comes with experience when you are writing some logic. If you are able to understand the, you know, working behind that function, you will be able to answer this type of questions. So I would definitely encourage you to watch my videos on functions. That will definitely give you understanding on how it works or how it you know uh, derives value because I've clearly shown step by step for each functions that we have. Okay, I'll, I'll be pasting it in the you know, dis uh, description box. Do watch out and make sure you complete that playlist. It will definitely build up your confidence. Next is blended versus dual access. What is the difference? And we have also seen this. And this is becoming one common question these days. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you knowing some new questions. If it does, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And that's it from my side in this video. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.